guys, it's Layla. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to show you guys how to achieve this heatless blow dry. I had a few people ask me how I got my hair straight for that bun I had in my moisturizing video. I'll put a picture here. When I really want to go for that blow dried look, then this is how I do it. And it is the old fashioned African way that my mum used to do my hair and her mum used to do her hair and so on and so forth. So I hope you enjoyed the video. <laughs> I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye. You're going to need some shea butter and a cotton thread. Ideally you want your shea butter to be whipped and I'll be using my own available on my Etsy. I'm starting off on freshly washed hair. I already applied my leave-in in the shower and I used shea moisture's restorative shea butter conditioner. That's a tongue twister, I don't know why. Anyway, so working in sections, you want to take your first quarter and divide that in two. Then you want to take your thread and you want to use about an arm's width doubled. I find that this is the best length for me, but you might have to play around a little bit to find out what works for you. And then you take some of your shea butter and emulsify it. Ideally, you want to ensure that every single strand is completely saturated with your shea butter mix. And that is why it's so important that you use a whip butter, which is usually much lighter than raw shea butter. I like to create a little hook with my thread as I find it much easier to grab onto as you begin to thread the length of your section. You want to go over your base maybe 10 times, I would say, just to secure it. But at the same time, you want to make sure that it's not too tight. And then the best way to do this is to allow the thread to guide your hand down. So you'll see that I don't actually pull my hand down or move my hand down, but I allow the thread to guide me. Most importantly guys, remember that you're not encasing your hair. This is not a tomb for your strands and this is not faux locks. <laughs> so you're not trying to cocoon your strands, but you're just trying to stretch them. When you get to the end, apply a little bit more shea butter and then you want to thread as further down as possible. I like to go pretty much all the way down to ensure that my ends don't coil up and knot on themselves. Once you get to the tip, you then want to create maybe three loops to secure it. And that's pretty much it. Cut off any excess thread and move on to your next section. As the center of my hair tends to be quite thick, I like to then divide that section into two and repeat that same process on the next piece. smoothen the strands and that's just to ensure that there's no knots or tangles as I slide down with the thread. When you have a short piece left you just want to grab that, lay it down and then take another piece of thread and begin that process again. When you're done you should have something that looks like this so kind of looks like faux locks but of course my hair is not completely cocooned. This is the next morning and my hair is completely dry and this is what my threading looks like. I think it's quite cute. <laughs> um, and then you just want to grab the tip of the thread and you literally just pull and it begins to unravel. Really, really simple. As you can see, my hair is super soft and shiny looking and it's not weighed down. That's another reason why it's really important to use a whipped shea butter instead of raw shea butter. Come closer. That's it guys, as you can see it really does look like I used heat to blow dry my hair, which I didn't. The strands are completely smooth and soft without the crispy frizzy dryness that you would get using heat or a blow dryer. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Definitely give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're not subscribed and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye.